Hey, drone technology fans, Bill here. DJI Mavic 2 Pro and Zoom firmware update. Precision landing added. We'll have that coming right up. Disclaimer before we get into the video. Number one, all flights were done over my property and or the lake behind my house. Number two, I did do all of the updates to the aircraft, to the controller, and to both the iOS device that I use, my iPad mini 4, and the Android device that I use, a Galaxy Note 8. With that, let's begin. Today is November 22nd, 2018, which is Thanksgiving Day here in the U.S. And if you are a viewer or subscriber in the United States, a very happy Thanksgiving to you and yours. DJI decided to give us a gift, a gift of a firmware update. The firmware update includes the following. Now I'm gonna put this up on the screen for you to read and I'm gonna read everything in its entirety. So uh, bear with me here for a moment, okay? Uh, the date is today's date, 11-22-2018. The aircraft firmware is V01.00.02.00. The app for iOS is version 4.3.5. The app for Android is version 4.3.4. What's new? Increase the shutter speed up to two seconds for hyperlapse circle and course lock. Requires DJI Go 4 or version 4.3.4 or later. Added task library to hyperlapse waypoint. Requires DJI Go 4 version 4.3.4 or later. Added precision landing. Enabled lateral vision systems for point of interest 2.0. See Mavic 2 Pro slash Zoom user manual for more details about obstacle sensing requirements. And the next one, added voice alert for active track 2.0 when the subject is lost. Requires DJI Go 4 v4.3.4 or later for iOS. Android version is coming soon. Added on-screen display when shooting in hyperlapse and panorama. Requires DJI Go 4 v4.3.4 or later. And last, optimize the vision system status display in DJI Go 4. Requires DJI Go 4 v4.3.4 or later. And then you can read the notes down at the end. What I did today was, I didn't obviously have time to test everything, but of main interest and main focal point for this video was precision landing. Now you remember with my very first flight on the DJI Mavic 2 Pro that I found that there was a serious issue that precision landing was not included and I almost hit the roof on that. And you could see that that did get a lot of hits as far as my video was concerned. Well, today I wanted to try it with both the Android and the iOS apps. So we're gonna go ahead and roll what I did with the Android version first. And again, this is on my Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Okay, so what we're gonna do here today, uh, DJI included precision landing in the latest firmware update. So we're gonna test this. And I am currently testing this with my Android device, a Galaxy Note 8. So let's go ahead and uh, take off. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Can we get it up in the air here? And I am recording. So let's go ahead and get it out over the pond, lake behind us. Out there, good ways, okay. Now I am going to hit return to home. Go home. And it's coming back. It's going to its return to home altitude. Landing. I'm going to adjust the gimbal so we can take a look and see. Per 
precision landing, correcting landing position is coming up on here. Okay, precision landing test number one did work. So let's go ahead and let's get this up. I'm going to use auto takeoff this time. Takeoff. And this is precision landing test number two. Get this up to about 100 feet or so. Okay, well, yeah, we're about 130 feet. That's good enough. Let's go ahead and get it out over the lake again. Okay, we're out there. Now we're going to do return to home. This is test. Go home. overhead. Go ahead and point the gimbal down so you can take a look and see. Landing. And it's correcting landing position for precision landing. partially on the landing mat. That was a precision landing test number. Okay, you can see that I did two tests. The two tests both showed um, on the, you, you saw the screen display came up, the precision landing was making it making its correction. Now you can see uh, we, we went ahead and I did run two tests on the Android and those results were very good. I was very pleased with that. Sorry. Okay, we're going to test, we tested the Android app, now we're going to test the iOS app here. And let's do a auto takeoff for this. Takeoff.
And this is an unaided landing. Okay, test number one is done. Precision landing work for iOS. We're going to go ahead and take off normally here. Take off. And precision landing, locating landing point display came up. Okay, that was a perfect second test for the iOS app for uh, the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. Okay, so both the Android and iOS apps work on precision landing. Again, precision landing is something that is built in. It's not an option like it was on the DJI Mavic Pro. And this is good news to everybody. This is an update that a lot of people have been asking about. So it's glad that DJI, kudos to them, this has been taken care of. Question of the day, will you be doing your firmware update to your DJI Mavic 2 Pro or Zoom? Let me know in the comments section below. If you like the content from today's video, please make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and tell others about the channel. Also, be sure to check out my Facebook page where I do post daily updates regarding the drone and drone industry and anything DJI, Autel, or Parrot related. Also, be sure to check out my Twitter account where I do post daily updates and Instagram as well. Thanks so much for watching and remember, it's a great day to fly.